What's good, YouTube Nation? Today we're bringing you guys another defensive scheme. Today we're going to be breaking down the Nickel 155 Psycho out of the Green Bay Packers playbook. This can also be found in custom playbooks if you choose to make that uh, for Madden 13. Now, I'm positive this formation is going to be there in Madden 25. This is actually something I've been working on for a while. I've been trying to perfect it, trying to get it down. And today we're just going to talk about some simple concepts to get you started. Let's get to the audibles real quick. And we're going to show you the audibles today, and then we're also going to show you about the format, talk a little bit more about the formation. Uh, we're also going to put uh, some other videos up explaining how to run these plays, and uh, we're also going to have a full game commentary for you. So the audible, audible number one, this is your run defense, the invert to fire. This play is a freaking monster. This is so good. Uh, you can do anything with that spy. You don't have to have the spy there. You can put him in a deep blue, a yellow, purple. It doesn't matter, but these zones are so exotic from the psycho, and this is going to be a nice play to start out with. Uh, your next play is your cover four. This is kind of your uh, base pass defense. You know, if you're trying to fill a guy out, trying to see what he wants to do, just come out the cover four. It's safe. Uh, the way the psycho works, it's going to be pretty decent against seams. Uh, your next play, this is your base pass defense. This is a play for like third and ten or so. Uh, this is the overload three seam. This is actually one of the plays that we're going to be using to get pressure. We're going to show you some pressure setups later on in the video talking about that. Uh, these next two plays are your sellout plays. Now, this is your sellout right run stopper. That's why it's my R1 audible, the strong corner to fire. And this is also a play that's designed to stop out routes because you see the yellow zones. Uh, that is nice there. And then uh, we're going to show you a blitz setup out of that as well. Next play, the corner fire to roll. This is more of a play that I would use in a short yard situation. And, and if they're going to run left, if you know they're going to run left, call this play. Also, if they are in a situation where it's like a short yard is passing type of down and they're trying to go quick, to the flats or quick to the uh, slants, I would try to call this play. Uh, the, the drops on the zones are really nice for, for that type of a deal. Uh, call these people back. So anyway, um, that's what we got going on for the Nick 155 Psycho. Let's talk about your uh, uh, teams. Some ideas for teams. Uh, what you want to do here is you want to R – I normally just RB sub them in. Uh, pack, we'll just go through the package real quick. We got the DN pass rush. Middle linebacker two is going to put the middle linebacker at the. It's going to put another middle linebacker in there. Uh, one second, guys. Hello. Yeah. I'll be there in five minutes. I know I'll be there in five minutes. Wait outside. All right. Bye. Sorry, guys, that was my brother. He was calling me. I got to go pick him up in about five minutes. Anyways, let's go over these packages real quick. Then I'm going to get out of here. We got the OLB swap. Just going to swap the linebackers. CB swap. going to swap corner. Safety swap. going to stop the safeties. Free safety nickel. This is actually a pretty good package. Going to put a free safety in at your third corner position. Uh, same thing here with the strong safety. Uh, and that's all we got. So what I would do with this is I'm going to put my two linemen uh, on these on these bottom rows here. So we're going to put Dorsey here and um, uh, shoot. Um, Jackson there, and then we have the Bailey dude with the most strength. He, he's going to be our nose. And so now we have basically just three more linebackers, so it's essentially a 3-3-5. We can make it like that. We can also make a 1-5-5. It just depends on how you want to do it. You can even make it a 6-5, meaning six linebackers on the field, which is nice. Uh, not Kind of cool. So we can put Tom Holly over here on an island. That's where I kind of want him to be. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do for this team is I'm going to put Houston here, and I'm going to put Holly here. Uh, so I have a nice pass rush there. And then for the middle linebackers, I'm going to put uh, Derek Johnson and Andy Studebacker. Studebacker is a little better overall, and uh, I, I don't think I think Siler actually was the, the the backer who passed away, so I don't think he'll he'll obviously not be there next year. Uh, as far as the nickel corner, uh, just put whoever there. It doesn't really matter. They don't really do a whole lot in the scheme. They're just kind of there, uh, so I'll put like a strong safety there. And uh, anyways, guys, that's the, the starting principles from the Psycho. We're going to get back with some blitz setups later on today. Uh, real quick, though, your base play is the cover three. Uh, you can actually access that through your quicks. That's why we didn't set it as an audible. And the reason I want to show – what I want to show you is some quick co quick concepts from this uh, formation as coverage uh, – quick coverage concepts. So and you see how these yellows play. And remember the baseline, baseline tip from Zan, so we can make these yellows play even more exotic. So cover three will get the comebacks. It will not get deep seams, but it will get the comeback out routes, that kind of deal. So, like, if I try to put uh, – let me just show you. Holmes on an out. Here, the safety is going to go over there and kind of discourage that play. You can still kind of fit it in, but it's a tough throw. Uh, also, what you can do here is you can globally blitz all your linebackers. So you could have this kind of a shell, and that's a six-man – six-man are coming, so you're going to get a guy coming right up the middle every time. So that's kind of cool. You could also – 
globally zone all your linebackers. And so what this does is it's going to take away the – it should take away the streak to the tight end. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, that's kind of the only way you can throw it if, if you throw with a pass lead up. But it, the, usually the safety will cover that. So um, that's kind of cool. And then another thing you could do real quick, and this is actually something Ryan Dykes was doing, is you just globally yellow all your linebackers, baseline, baseline there. And now you have just a sea of yellow zones, as we talked about before, from the 4-4. Uh, so that's just something – that's just some kind of quick concepts from that. And he was – I think you, you can do that out of anything. So you could do it out of two under. And so you could have, like, the outside guys manned up and then a sea of yellow zones over the middle of the field and just blitz one guy. But I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'd recommend just running the plays I'm going to talk about today because uh, we're going to be giving you some op concepts for pressure. So, anyways, guys, make sure you come back for part two. Uh, this is just kind of an intro, and uh, we'll get back with it in part two, uh, break down the plays more, break down the blitzes, how the scheme works in-game. This is going to be our Man 13 scheme of the week, and this is actually going to be something I'm probably going to be looking at running in Man 25. Anyways, thanks guys for watching this. We'll see you guys next time.